Hi, this is Jeff Heaton. In this video, we're going to look at a high-end workstation that Exact Corporation was kind enough to provide to me for a couple of videos. This system has dual NVIDIA RTX 3090 GPUs and a AMD Threadripper 3960 with 128 gigabytes of RAM. So this is going to be a fun system to use for a couple of videos. If you have any ideas of things that you might like for me to try with this, definitely let me know in the comments of this video below. Now I'm doing this video entirely remote. So the machine is back at the exact corporation and I am using it completely remotely. And we'll see what that looks like in a moment. But this is a beautiful system. Let's take a look. The exact workstation looks just as good sitting on a desk as under it. Inside, it's extremely roomy, even with two NVIDIA RTX 3090s. The Threadripper 3960 is cooled by an AIO with eight RAM sticks providing the 128 gigabytes of RAM. You see those on each side. The cable management on this system is top notch, not the least bit crowded considering all the power and advanced features that are going on in this system. Let's also talk about the complete system specs for this machine. It has a TRX-40 motherboard. That's not a specific brand, but a type of motherboard. It's pretty much the pinnacle AMD Threadripper technology. There's an AMD 3960 Threadripper in there. That's the same chip that I run on my own computer sitting behind me. There's 128 gigabytes of RAM memory. That is 16 gigabyte sticks times eight. We saw those just a second ago. There are two four terabyte PCIe fixed disk units in there to give you the storage. The highlight that we're gonna be really looking at in the next few videos are the two NVIDIA RTX 3090 GPUs. It also has an NVLink bridge, so we'll probably take a look at that, trying some examples that specifically make use of that. Always gotta take a look at the back of the machine. You can see the very large power supply right there. It's got quite a few USB connectors to make use of, dual ethernet connections. So if you're using this on a local cluster, it's going to be very fast connecting to other machines. It does have wireless capability. I see that you can connect the two antenna so that you can get a wireless connection going. Also a type C at the bottom. So let's jump on this machine and see what we can do. It's running Ubuntu. And this is really a pretty similar setup that I might use if I were connecting to a machine in the cloud. So what I do to get all of the access that I need is I connect to it through a terminal. So we're doing SSH, but I use tunneling. The tunneling allows me to also connect up a web browser. And you can see it here, I'm running Jupyter. This is all running completely through the Ubuntu system on the other side. So a lot of the experimentation that we will do with this machine will be done either through the terminal where we'll just run a Python script or we'll do it through Jupyter that you see here. This is the information from my class. So I'm able to do kick off a couple of introductory examples. If you're interested in how I set up the tunneling so that I can use a browser on a remote system, I have a video linked in the description to show you how to do that. That's very handy. Even with my Ubuntu machine at home, this is how I typically access it as well. You can also see here, I keep two terminals open. One lets me be able to run Jupyter. I could just run that in the background, just append a ampersand and no hop it, but I, I like to actually see the console output there. And then I can run things like NVIDIA SMI, and I can get an idea of what the utilization is. You can see the two GPUs are not doing much right now. It's, it's at idle. I can also run top and look at what's all running, see the CPU utilization. So those are all useful things for me to do with that. Now, the real powerhouse in this machine is the 3090. 
We have two of these in this GP in this machine. So that's going to be really interesting to take a look at. This is part of the consumer class of cards. I really view this as sort of taking over where the Titan used to be. This is absolutely a GPU that you would use for high-end gaming, but also for high-end machine learning and these other sorts of things that I would more use it for. And don't ask me to play Cyberpunk on it. I don't have physical access to it. So this is the specs of the 3090. 10K CUDA core. So it's, it's a very, very compute-intensive machine. It's got 24 gigabytes of RAM. That's about half what you would have on the high end of the workstation class machines. So it, if you had an A6000 like I have in this machine over there, you would have twice the amount of memory on a single GPU, which does absolutely have its advantages. Having all your memory on one GPU always has certain advantages over having 48 gigabytes of RAM split over two, like we have in this situation. However, the memory is particularly fast on this GPU. This machine came from Exact already pre-configured. I did not have to do really anything at all hardly to get the CUDA drivers working, that sort of thing. So it was pretty much good to go. I put Minaconda on here so that I could run TensorFlow. Also put PyTorch on it. We'll be using both of those for a variety of different things as I work on this in the coming weeks. Let's put it through at least a few initial paces. Also, if you have specific things that you might like me to try on this machine, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those, and also mention those in the comments. And give this video a like. That really helps me with the good old YouTube algorithm. What do you do? Pound the like button, smash it, I forget. So let's look at my class real quick. If we go into the overview, and if I just scroll all the way down to here, if I run this little bit of code here, you'll see that it checks out my configuration. And you can see we're saying GPU is available. So that's good. That's what you're going for. We're doing Keras TensorFlow 2.6. So we are at the absolute latest as of the recording of this video. Let's run something just a little bit more advanced. This is a little benchmark that I put together. This is kind of out of date. I'll probably build a better benchmark for this later, but we can go ahead and run this. It shows me the version. And we run this. It shows me the GPUs it's detecting. Now that is just awesome. Two RTX 3090s. Thank you very much, Exact Corporation. This, this, is, this is a killer system. And now we're going to download the cats versus dogs. I am going to use both GPUs in training. So we'll use GPU 0 and 1. So there's, the, there's two GPUs available. We've got the cats versus dogs database downloaded. We're going to go ahead and set up the distributed training. It takes a moment for it to pop up. There you can see we're in the first one of five epochs, epochs, epochs. Takes just a moment for this to spin up before you actually start to see it going through these steps. Okay, you can see it is training. I'm not, I have not run this benchmark in a while. This may not even be optimized for this high end of a system, but we will look at, we'll, we'll really specifically put this machine to the test on subsequent videos. But this is just showing that I've got it up and running with two GPUs. If we run SMI again, remember it was 39 and 37, you'll see that it's now 66 and 59. And the, that, I believe that's the fan percent. Yeah, that's the fan usage on there. It's not too unusual for two GPUs to have different utilization there. One is it just could be the efficiency of what I'm throwing at it. And two, just position in the case. You'll, you're always going to have a slightly warmer GPU than the other, which is going to require more fan speed to keep it in comparable temperature ranges. This is not particularly pushing this system. We can do a whole lot more with this system, and we'll see that soon on other videos. But this is just showing I've got everything up and running.
So definitely a big thank you again to Exact for giving me this system to work with for a while on the channel to try out some, some different configurations. Let me know in the comments what you might like to see. I'm definitely going to be running GANs on it. That'll be the next video and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything.